Hello, Queeve McDonald here. I hope you're well. This is a new thing I'm going to do where I decided to tell you three interesting-ish facts about one of my books in three minutes. And we're going to start with Disaster Inc., which is book one of the McGarry Stateside series. So without further ado, we're off. Right, uh, fact number one. You might not have read Disaster Inc., and if not, why not? Sort your life out. But uh, there's a very good chance you will have seen the author's note. As we estimate, because it's been shared around all the social media things so much, uh, it's been seen between one and two million times, which is frankly insane. Uh, if you don't know what I mean, uh, I'll very quickly remind you of it. As the author note on language says, please note, as the author and the main character of this book are both from Ireland, it is written in the version of English that is standard there. So recognize is spelled recognize with an S and not recognize with a Z, etc. The author recognizes some North American readers may find this upsetting. And while he's, of course, scared of them, he is considerably more scared of his mammy who taught him how to spell. Nevertheless, as an apology, here is a bunch of Zs for you to mentally stick in as and when you choose. Then there's a big Z and that's a little Z. And then I said, look, they look like a mummy duck and little ducks. Adorable. Now, I'm pleased to say that most people got the joke on that one. And in case you're not sure, the joke is I am a grown man who is terrified of his mother, which incidentally is 100% accurate. Um, but it was there for the good reason of explaining why a book set in America was used in Irish English. That is all. I will clarify some of the things that people have thought it was about. It was not an attack on America, an attack on woke, however you're defining that, an attack on educational standards, an attack on teachers, an attack on young people, an attack on old people, and in case anyone's wondering, also not an attack on ducks. None of those things. The one thing I will apologise for genuinely is, I didn't even realise it because I wrote that in a minute. It was an afterthought just where the book went out. Uh, it turns out most Canadians spell recognised with an S and not a Z. I have had some very politely and correctly spelled uh, complaints from Canadians about this. I unreservedly to apologise to Canada. Oh my God, we're up to over two minutes already. Fact number two. Uh, the opening scene of this book, which is Bunny in an American diner, trying to get a decent cup of tea, Weirdly, this is my fifth book. I wrote it after the very first book. Um, I've always been obsessed with America. I love going there on holidays. And frankly, I love a diner. And the idea of Bunny sitting in a diner instantly uh, cheered me. So I weirdly wrote it a couple of years before I wrote the rest of the book. And it was always just sitting there. Fact number three is there's a big chase at the end of Disaster Inc. I'm not giving anything away. It's an exciting chase through the streets of New York. And um, I did that the way most authors do it, where you get the Google Maps and you follow things along and you see all the pictures, which is generally great. But then, because I care about you, the reader, myself and Wonder Wife went to New York and spent an entire day just following the path of the chase, which was amazing. It's great fun. It really helped with the writing of it. And it also led to the weird situation of myself and my wife standing bang in the middle of a park in the middle of New York, got a very quiet conversation about where we would put a sniper if we required to put one up there. So there you go. There's three interesting facts. Bang on time. Look at that. Three minutes. That was a work of art. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this. I'm going to do a couple more of these videos, probably for some other books. I may have cleaned up the office before I try another one, or may not. Let's just have to tune in and find out. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you. Goodbye.